OK, so. Uh, this is to show you how to do part B, but there's something that I wanted to fix in part A that I realized I'd made a small mistake on. So. Uh, if we go to where I've done the costings, I think it's in here. Um, basically, the problem. As I noticed. You open up part A scenario. One of the problems is that it says. It has. For each test activity given in the function point analysis, assume that there are two major and three minor and it would need three days of regression testing per fold. Now, if you calculate how many extra days that is. Um, you have. Uh, extra 22 days or 165 hours, right? So. You need to. Make sure and if you read it carefully, it says. It is for each test activity, so you need to make sure that each of these test activities server software testing, hardware testing, software and security testing. So these three. Um, you add on the extra hours um, and the, or, or and update the days as well, essentially. Um, so you can see here I have actually added on the extra hours and so that that's changed my costings. Um, but I haven't added on the extra days, so I will to this. That makes it 32 for that, 22 for that, 32 for that, and I'm whopping 48 days for that. Now, if I go back to here, my Gantt chart, and I update the days for each one of those testing tasks. So server software testing. Uh, I think this is my one I've done this year. Install server software testing. Well, I said it's going to take 32 days. That one is going to take. 32 days and this one is going to take. About 48 days. Now this is going to push. Some of these tasks. Way beyond it should have pushed them way beyond. The end of the project. Let me just double check this one day. Eight days. Yeah, it does. So you can see, for example, this one. Is now going to finish in May, so. There is a certain amount of. What you could call. Um, like room for error, you know, so you can go a certain amount over budget or time, but that is too much. And you can see the problem that I've got with that being too much is because I've only got one junior engineer on there. So I'm going to need to put the other junior engineers on there like this. Um, and then that means I've got I'm utilizing more of my resources. So as long as they're not working on another task, um, and that means I can cut that down, uh, divide that essentially by three. So 48 divided by three is uh, 1, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, about 16 days. And then it's cut down the amount of time it takes to do that massive task. Um, by using three of my resources on there. And I, I'm also going to add junior network engineer, three junior network engineers um, on that. Um, now, the problem here is that one of them is assigned to that one, so it's kind of overrunning on that one. So this one would need to start doing this task when they finish this one, but we can cut this task down. We can divide 32 by three, so we get one. Um, 
let's say it's going to take 10 days now because we've got three of them on here it's only going to take 10 days so it's a much shorter time and the same for this one as well now i can't remember who who else can do server software testing so we need to go and look back at the uh, part a scenario look at the people who can do it uh server software testing junior software engineers uh junior network and junior the so junior software engineers can do server software testing uh who can do software and security testing software testing software and security testing can be done by a database administrator uh software testing can be done by a senior software engineer uh who else can do software and security testing so software and security testing so did the junior software engineers can do server software testing and software testing and a senior has it only got have we got any seniors so senior network can do hardware testing senior software can do software testing so i need to cut this task down here that's currently just assigned to the database administrator um perhaps if i use Junior software engineer one and two on there. But then we've got this problem. So let's cut that down by three. So let's say on the conservative side, we'll say 11 days and not 10. We'll go over and not under. It'll take 10 days to do that. Uh, this is some, that's something you could talk about in your project management and control how you manage the project. So, database admin, junior network engineer on that. So these guys can't start on this task until they finished this one. And these tasks can't start until um, this one is finished. And so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to put resources that cost the same if you look at this cost chart here because i don't want to have to recalculate the costs if possible so junior software engineers 20 junior network engineers 20 the seniors are 27 the databases admins 22. so by adding more resources to a task you can you can divide it by two or by three or however many you add. Um, as long as they all cost the same, you don't have to worry about costing it up or adding a little bit on. Um, well, let's put that dependency on 10. So we cannot start this bit, software and security testing cannot start until uh, the, until this one is finished. So nine, sorry, nine. And then you see this is the end of the project, this red bar, and it's still overrunning. And maybe we can put some network engineers onto it as well. Three more network engineers, then we could divide that by three, so 16 divided by, uh, well, the original one was 48, wasn't it? 
So now we've got six people on it. So 46 divided by six is eight. Eight days. So now we've cut that 48 day task down to eight because we put like all of our junior resources onto this huge task. And we've almost allowed it to not overrun onto the project. Uh, but this last one here can't start until they've all finished on that one. Um, We shift that along and now we're only going OK, we're still going over by two weeks, but it wasn't like a massive like month or two months. So you might be able to argue that your project has slightly overrun, but but only so that you can build in this extra like uh, testing time for major and minor like, fixing and testing time for major and minor faults. So you have a reason for it to run over. And I've successfully done that by using resources that have the same rate of pay. So I haven't got to go back in and calculate it. The junior network and, and junior software all on 20 an hour. Um, I'm actually, oh, well, I might have to recost the the, that task a little bit because I've got these two are not going, I've got three people on it, but uh, but really, I'm sharing that money out between you know three people. So that's one thing you've got to fix. Um, yeah, and that's just how to fix up this um, Gantt chart so that you can use lots of resources and not overrun too much by the end of the project. And and that's OK, because as long as you can argue that, in your PID. So. When you're when you're talking about it, in your smart targets, for example, and you say, oh, you know, the, these developing the, you know. Software and security testing. No longer takes. We don't have to start it from the start of the project, but we're going to start it from. Um, when it makes sense to start it from, i.e. after we finish installing and configuring the software for each server, all these testing tasks will take place. So we're going to start it then, and then we're, so I'll paste that in there. Like that. And it will finish, when will it finish? On the 13th. of the fourth January. So it's going to start on second rate full finish on the 13th of April. 13.04. But it would only take eight days using six junior right so if you do have a problem where you've got a very big testing task like that and it's massively overrunning that's a demonstration of how you could use all the resources you've got and then cut the testing time down to a much smaller amount. 